Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not know, I have been hyping myself up to try to pack carry-on only for my Japan trip. I'm preparing myself to do a lot of shopping in Japan. So I have one checked-in luggage allowed with my airline. In my large checked-in luggage, I'm going to put a medium checked-in luggage. So it's gonna be like, a large and a medium suitcase, both empty, and hopefully that'll be enough for me to do my shopping in Japan and bring it all back. I haven't fully packed my personal item, which is my backpack, just yet, but I will put up the packing list that I made specifically for my personal item slash travel backpack in this video for you guys to refer to. The other things I'm still kind of using, like my makeup and toothbrushes and, and stuff like that. And before I begin, I did just wanna say that nobody believed in me. Not a single person believed that I could do this because I am a notorious overpacker. I am so bad with overpacking because I just am the type of person that wants to be prepared for everything. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I don't want my quilt to get all gross. This is the carry-on luggage that I will be using. I've used this several times in the past on weekend trips or week-long trips, but I've never brought this on an airplane with me, so I'm crossing all 10 fingers and all 10 toes that this is okay for Air Canada, but I think it should be okay. And this is the brand Hanky. I will put a link in the description box somewhere if you guys are interested in this one. I think this is the ivory version and it has a TSA approved built-in lock here, which is great. We've got just a standard compartment here and then this is kind of like an open space. So this is what I'm working with. This is what I'm planning, okay? On this side, I'm planning to put my bottoms and any other loose ends. And then on this side will be my tops, my intimates, and whatever else I can put in here. Also, a quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I am in no way affiliated with anything that I talk about today. If you guys want me to put links or like an Amazon storefront or something, I don't have one, but I can create one if you guys want. I found a few things that I really like, namely these specific packing cubes. These ones are compressible, which is really nice from a brand called DIMJ. And I just purchased it from Amazon in the color beige. So in my first compartment here is all of my tops. I have two of these Uniqlo tank tops. They both have the bra built into them. Do I need two? Maybe I just need one. I think I'll just put this one away. So I have one tank top now and I have one, two, three, four, five t-shirts. I feel like that's too many. I packed one more of like a nicer, dressier top. It's a halter style. Just in case we go to a nicer dinner, an omakase or something. I also have three types of outerwear. I have this pink cardigan from Uniqlo, although I don't think it's necessary. So maybe I'll put this one away as well. I don't think I need that. I'm packing just a simple long sleeve white linen shirt just to throw over top and then i also packed this holy i don't what do you call these it's like a knit sweater over top it's pretty lightweight although it does actually keep me warm but i think this might be nice in the evening and then i do have one more this one weighs nothing so i don't really feel too bad bringing it. It's my Frenchie blouse from Aritzia. I figured because I am packing two dresses, I'll show you, or actually three dresses. I figured this would be a very cute way to put it over top of my dresses. And I feel like that is good. I feel like this is enough. I feel like this is nothing. Oh my God. I feel like this is literally nothing. So now that I've decided everything that I'm bringing, I'm gonna pack it in my compression cube. So I'll start like this. Oops. I'll do Now that I have this packed, I'm going to just zip it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and compress it with the 
others were provided. And it's pretty easy because it's not <laughs> super packed, thankfully. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's super thin. Okay, so now that my tops are packed, I actually feel good about this. I feel like I am in danger because there's literally nothing in here. How many things did I pack? This is like, anyway, this is curing me, I think, for my overpacking. I don't know, we'll see. The next item of business is my dresses and my bottoms, which I think I, again, have overpacked this, so we can go through this together. So currently I have, and this might be too many, but three mini skirts. <laughs> I have one long, beautiful white maxi skirt. That one's a non-negotiable for me. If I could only bring one bottom to Japan, it would be that one. I have one pair of shorts, three of these anti-chafing shorts from Amazon. I love these. I have this one very cutesy, unique glow dress. It's long, it's maxi, it has an open slit in the back, but I feel like it's still respectful. I have another white unique low dress. It's kind of the same length, a different cut though, and this is one of those ones where I felt like putting something over top would be really cute, like that Frenchie that I'm bringing. It's kind of a little, okay, why would you pack two white dresses that are made of the same material that are both from Uniqlo? I just feel like they're both cute in different ways and that's all I'm gonna say. The last dress is surprisingly this one orange one that if you guys watched my last Uniqlo haul, I hated this. Um, I hated it on me, but it's kind of grown on me and I feel like this would pop off in Japan. So in total, okay, so three dresses, one pair of shorts, one maxi skirt, three mini skirts. Technically five bottoms, three dresses. I feel like that's not bad. And before I go any farther, let me just show you also my intended airport outfit. I have some compression socks, very important. Gonna put those on the minute that I wake up. I have this white Uniqlo t-shirt. I have these beige cargo pants, also from Uniqlo. Super airy, planning on wearing these on the plane. They're so comfortable, they're so loose. So that it will be the only pair of pants that I pack to Japan. I think I'm okay with that. I think I can live in dresses and skirts for three weeks. And if not, I'll just buy a pair there, I don't know. And then to keep myself warm, I just have this TNA sweater from Maritzia. I am hoping that it keeps me warm on the plane. And that is the airplane fit. Okay, now it's time to pack everything. I think I'm gonna start packing with all of the dresses first. That's all my bottoms. That's not bad. Honestly, that's not bad. Okay, this next one, I'm not gonna go too in depth with it because this is my intimate bag. In this, I have my underwear, my bras, my socks, and I also included nipple covers if I need them. I packed 25 pairs of underwear, I think. I will be packing two bras and I packed seven pairs of socks. I'll wash them in the sink if I need to. I'll do laundry for underwear or whatever, but I feel like this is fine. And you may think 25 pairs of underwear is very excessive, but personally, I like to pack two pairs of underwear per day that I'm gone. So if I'm gone 21 days, technically I should be packing at least 42 and then another uh, eight in case I shit myself twice. I don't really know, not that I've shit myself since I was a child, but regardless. And so I feel like this is good. I feel like I can do laundry. I feel like that's okay. <laughs> so now we've officially packed, I think all of my clothes. Now it's time to pack the actual carry-on. <gasps> So my plan is on this side, I'm gonna do the bigger compression cube, which has my dresses and bottoms in it here. Okay, nice fit and there's still a little bit of space here. And then on this side, I'm gonna do my tops, intimates, and then see what else I can fit in there. 
So I have my tops, which feels criminally so thin. Like I feel like there's nothing in here, but honestly, that's fine. That's what I wanted, right? And then my intimates, I guess here. So in this bag, I have what would you call these? I toiletries, I guess, almost. These have most of my period things in them. And then I just have this little case with some gravel in it. I have some salon pass if I need, Pepsid AC and band-aids. And then I also have a wet wipe if you need it, like a flushable bathroom wipe. And then I've got some Q-tips. See, it just feels like this is so like, this is doing too much, you know, this whole, like, I, I don't know. It would be great if I had all of these things. So I feel like I should just bring it, right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's just find a spot right here for them. I think that'll be fine. That fits. Back to this side, I have a hair straightener that I wanna bring with me. So I'm just gonna tuck it into this little divot here. Actually, maybe this should go at the top. And then I also have this tote bag that I wanna bring just in case we need an extra bag for whatever reason. Put it like this. That's a cursed way to fold a tote bag. Why would I do that? Anyway, let me do it like this. And I also have a pair of Tevas. These are my sandals of choice for traveling around Japan. And I'm just gonna try and compress it all here. But should I put it like here maybe? And that is all that I have in my carry-on right now. So let me just, I don't even need to squish it closed or anything. She's not overpacked. I love to see this. This is a canon event in my life. This is something I never thought I would ever be able to do. So props to me, but also because I plan on coming back with an entire new wardrobe, um, this is necessary. I'm gonna zip this up and lock it. There we go. And my carry-on is packed. So the last thing I wanna to touch on before I go is just my personal item, which will be a backpack. This is not fully packed yet because like I mentioned, I am still currently using a bunch of toiletries and makeup, my laptop and my camera stuff, which all is supposed to go in here. So I can just read off um, a list. I'll put it on the screen and you guys can follow along with me. But what I plan to put into this personal backpack, my laptop and laptop charger. In this little kind of travel pouch, I have a thing of Lysol wipes, band-aids, two things of gravel in case somebody gets motion sick wet wipes for your hands so Lysol for disinfecting wet wipes for your hands I put in a pair of Adidas slides I'm planning to wear these on the plane because it is gonna be like a 13 14 hour long flight and I might not want to wear sneakers the entire time and then also in the hotel room I know that um, for most if not all Japanese hotels do give you pajamas and slippers and stuff but because I have very flat feet I need like I'm always wearing some type of house shoe that is orthopedic in nature because my if I don't have any arch support, I'm dead, I'm gone, I can't walk, I'm not doing it. I have some reusable bags to use in Japan. I know, aren't these so cute? I have paper soap in case the public washrooms don't have soap. I also have this eye mask, again, I purchased it from Amazon. This one is really nice. The fact that it has divots for your eyes is really nice. I also have a pair of loop earplugs that I bought that cancels out pretty much all snoring and, and stuff like that because I'm a pretty light sleeper, so it's really good for me to have. I'll probably put in like a big t-shirt like this in case I need to change. This is the liquids bag that I have and I've never had any problems traveling with it. This is pretty much all that I'm bringing for my liquids. This is kind of my makeup bag slash catch-all. I'm gonna pack my hairbrush, an umbrella, question mark. It'd be great to bring an umbrella, I think, cause I think we're going there during typhoon weather, which yes, I'm gonna bring an umbrella actually. And that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna bring my large check-in luggage empty. Inside that, I'm gonna bring a medium check-in luggage. Inside the medium luggage, I'm going to have Ziploc bags, like freezer bags, and also sandwich bag sizes, because I am planning on bringing stuff like souvenirs and other things for people back home. So 
I learned this lesson from Taiwan because I just bought a bunch of like keychains and stuff going, oh yeah, this is going to be for this person, this is going to be for this person. And then after my trip, I completely forgot who I bought what for. So I'm planning on buying like keychains or little trinkets or sunscreen or whatever for people. And I'm going to put them in the Ziploc bags and write their name on it so I know what is going to who. So I'm also going to bring a Sharpie. I'm going to bring uh, Nelly's laundry soda. I have a little bag of the original packaging. I'm just gonna bring that for all four of us to share. And uh, that's currently all I have. That's my entire list. That is everything that I'm bringing to Japan. Wish me luck. I already know that I'm gonna have a freaking amazing trip. I am so excited to just explore Japan and share it all with you guys. If you guys wanna see a follow-up video to this, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when I upload the next part of this vlog, which is gonna be telling you guys exactly what I actually used in Japan that I am glad that I packed and things that I didn't end up using on my trip. So with that being said, I am gonna finish off this very long video now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.